Okay, so this one is going to be a little bit different, guys. Uh, it's it's going to be another little ranty video about YouTube because, as you guys know, Maluminous 2 has been terminated. It wasn't terminated for the most obvious thing that they could have terminated it for that I would have actually understood and still been really upset about, but they didn't terminate it for possibly sexualized content. Uh, as YouTube has always been in a grapple war with that channel over that, usually we always get like the two strikes and then we get them to remove one, but it seems like they always leave one just to tell us, hey, we don't like you. And like they've even said before that they would remove both and then I've only ever gotten one removed. It's a very interesting situation regarding that. But now it's come to my realization that YouTube just doesn't even understand their own rules. Like they, they don't even understand it, which is baffling to me because I don't know how they expect us to understand it. Now, what I'm basing that off of, if you guys don't understand, uh, YouTube does have a support feature. It has a chat support and email support. It's now called creator support. And the way that you get this is one, your channel has to be monetizable, which means you have to have a certain amount of monetizable, um, content or whatever, I guess you just pretty much have to hit the 4k 1k rule. But besides that, you also have to have a certain amount of watch minutes and a certain amount of uh, views within a certain given period of time. So I already meet all those requirements on all my channels, except for Maluminous 2 was not monetized, which means Maluminous 2 lost all support features, which means it could not contact support, which is why Maluminous 2 had to have managers who had uh, monetization enabled. So once again, it always comes down to money with YouTube. Uh, you can't do a lot of things on YouTube if you don't make the money. You can't get support. Your videos won't be recommended, etc. And that's just how YouTube is. And that's another thing. This isn't for the money, obviously, because that channel doesn't generate money. But it's for the pure fact that this is... Uh, As9, uh, again, Maluminous 2 was removed for spam, uh, spam, scams, deceptive content. Uh, we're not told anything more than that. For those of you guys who are YouTubers yourself, you probably realize spam is pretty much the generic, uh, we decided to remove your channel thing. There's no real definition. There's 20 or 20 plus different things that could have gotten your channel terminated, and they will not tell you a single, not even, not even a hint of what it could be. So you just have to, you just have to pretty much siphon through that. And then I think 500 characters or less, you have to craft, uh, uh, some sort of persuading argument to a bot essentially on why all 21 possible things are false for your channel. Again, it's a bot. They can say it's manual review, but if it was manually reviewed, then we wouldn't have Pokemon Go channels being terminated for using capture points in their videos. But let's get into the really juicy stuff. So we've obviously emailed support uh, trying to get in contact with them. And we've gotten this person named Juno, who they gave us pretty much the carbon copy of this is how it is. Um, if we just read this, in fact, let me go ahead and pull this up so uh the first the first chat and i'm gonna censor obviously some some of this um you know i just had uh you know the first question uh you can submit an appeal as many as you can however once the eternal team already provided the decision you need to stick with that decision uh there is also some instances that the appeal may already be rejected due to multiple submissions so that's one thing that keeps on getting thrown around here apparently submitting multiple times will just get your account terminated or your appeal canceled so it's not even that your account will sometimes be in violation it's just that you submit it too many times and they don't want to deal with your shit, i guess and uh here's my thing okay thanks can I know what the policy, when the policy changed to only allow one appeal after review then? And why this change was made and why there was no notification of the change being made. And, uh, you know, they just completely ignored that, which is another thing with YouTube support. Keep in mind, you have to earn this support. You have to make YouTube a certain amount of money before you're allowed to get this support feature. So we are paying 
we are literally paying to get this support and uh they just say upon checking you uh, submitted an appeal multiple times it's reflecting on our tool and notifications are always provided have you checked your email spammed emails uh i just say that just ignored our, our question entirely and i just resubmit and this is another thing they do they just give you the same new form uh, before it was actually just an email that you that you would contact the email would be how you would appeal and then she contradicts herself and she says because you can still appeal and i said you also said before you can only appeal once after the team reveals a channel termination once you can appeal again and it says it seems that i have already escalated your issue before your channel was already reviewed manually by an internal team the decision is already fixed and i i say again that none of this even pertains to the original question uh they link back to another email which is just them literally copying and pasting your channel was terminated for spam scams deceptive content and that took them a week to get to me by the way that that decision um Again, then they go on is, here's the thing, you can't appeal. We are here to request a manual review. There is no changes in the appeal process, only the strike process, which is again false. Let me go ahead here and actually show you why it's false because I've had the channels terminated for spam, scams, and deceptive content multiple times. And I've had to appeal and go through this process so many times that it just doesn't it doesn't make sense to me that they're pretending like this is just how it always was now some of these archived emails are in fact a little bit old but let me just go ahead and pull it up here so here it is here's an email telling malumnus theater this one is for malumnus theater this one so the easiest one to to get to uh you know we'd like to inform you that it was uh your account was terminated after review we determined that activity in your account violated community guidelines which prohibit spam scams or com commercially deceptive content uh please be aware you are prohibited from accessing pos possessing or creating any other youtube accounts for more information blah blah i had to go to the forms in this case i believe to even figure out what email i should contact and keep in mind that we, we're only able to do this because we have multiple accounts, by the way, that are that are higher up there, that are 100K plus or 200K that allows us to get the chat. So if you only have one account, you literally cannot contact YouTube. There is no way to do it. There is no way to appeal, which is why it makes no sense that they've removed the ability to appeal. Now, obviously, um, here it is. Hi, thanks for your account suspicion appeal. We have decided to keep your account suspended based on our community guidelines in terms of service. For more information, um, just go there. Uh, we we make another comment. Uh, we believe this to be fraudulent. Here we go again. We have decided to keep your account suspended based on our community guidelines. Uh, can you tell me specifically uh why and then you know I, I make another appeal and you can tell i'm just talking to a bot right now and there's thank you for your account spill we have decided to keep your account suspended so that's already one two uh that's that's three appeals so far just in this one chain trust me there was a lot more and on the fourth one on the fourth one uh we have re-reviewed the circumstances of your suspension and have concluded it's appropriate to reinstate your account this means your account is once again active and operational it took four manual quote unquote appeals for this account to be reinstated voluminous theater which means them now making it so that i can only appeal manually once apparently get a manual review once is the biggest crock of shit that i have ever heard and again just to further iterate that they don't even understand their own rules they don't understand the own history of their own platform um they again tell me uh you can still submit an appeal juno keeps on telling me that if you ever can't do it on your end we are here to do it for you which i did recently i understand how important this is for you this is why i'm here to fully explain and get all my workarounds I don't know what she means. I, I think she means give all her workarounds or something. And uh, this is one of the lines that I copied and pasted to Tina, <laughs> apparently. By the way, do you know um, YouTube hired tens of thousands of people to review content, right? 
how did I get Juno two times in a row? By the way, you always start at number one in the queue. YouTube is a huge platform. You, I start at number one both times. I get the same support rep both times. If it wasn't for the fact that they make so many spelling errors, I would really assume that the vast majority of these are bots. And I have to assume that they're all just using a set number of names, perhaps. I, I don't know. But um, here, here is them actually apparently clearing it up. Let me clear things up. In this situation where you requested the first appeal and the decision was made and it was rejected, you can still submit an appeal to request another review. However, if you do it multiple times and getting the same decision, there is the possibility that your succeeding appeals might be rejected. So again, you might just be rejected based upon the number of times that you review and not the not the actual content of your channel. Uh, you may contact us and request for manual review. We then have her, I just end up requesting a manual review from them and they tell me wait for their update and I don't get one for hours. In fact, I, I about an hour and a half, I don't get a single email confirming that the manual review would be taking place shortly or that it would be in the process or an email following up. In fact, I don't get an email until after this chat ends. Uh, but this is Tina and I go through, I tell Tina what happened and you know, I tell them that it's not for this account and they gave me the old support ID where they say that, um, you know, it was terminated for spam scams and deceptive content. That was all they said in the email. I, I tell, I tell them that we were supposed to get a different one. Uh, and they tell me this time the result has already been made. I copy and paste what Juno told me before. Uh, and they give me this same support form. They tell me the manual review has already been made and it was rejected. Uh, if you still want to make an appeal, you can use the form. Then they just pretty much just shut down after that. You know, they, they just get really accusatory saying like, if you're violating our terms, certain action has to be done, blah, blah, blah. Um, your channel has already been decided. Refer to that outcome over and over. Uh, and then they just end the chat on me saying that they have to end it. No longer productive. Thanks for understanding. They, I literally just kept on asking them to answer my question. They refused to answer my question and they just hang up on me essentially. Uh, to, and then I, I eventually get the, the email here, uh, which was like 16, 17 minutes ago. So right when I started recording, this was supposed to come like two hours ago. And and it was just, thanks for your patience and waiting. As promised, we'll continue our conversation on this email, which was supposed to be a different email chain, but I guess not. Uh, kindly refer to the email there. So she's, I guess, completely given up on telling me that I was able to request a manual review through her because they just say it was already reviewed. And now they just say, I understand how important. However, the internal team already conducted a manual review, your channel. They've already provided their decision and according to your the, I think they mean terms of service. It just says the, your channel was suspended due to repeated or severe violations of community guidelines, which they, uh, they've changed at that, which they say they've changed that the strike policy, but I guess it was just severe. They won't tell me why it was severe. They won't tell me what it was. And after review, we determined the activity on your account violated the community guidelines, which prohibit spam, scams, and commercially deceptive content. Commercially deceptive. Uh, it doesn't even have ads. Please be aware that you are prohibited from accessing, possessing, or creating another YouTube channel. Yada, yada. Which is their standard flair. And again, it's not even that the channel is terminated that I am upset. It is the fact that that they don't seem to understand their own rules, that they don't seem to understand their own history and how dismissive and condescending some of the chat people appear to be when we have to pay to get this support. This is the support we pay for. And it seems that unless you have a huge Twitter following or are able to drum up enough of a stink on Twitter that they won't even reply to you. 
I can't, I, again, I pay for the support. My support, contact support emails have not been answered in two weeks. When I directly go to them outside of the chat, we have a creator support email. I mean, this was made nine days ago. I haven't heard back from just this one alone, which was trying to contact them about the situation. I still haven't heard back in nine days. I was supposed to get back within a day. This is apparently what we have to deal with. Uh, there is just no way to contact support. There is no way to be in contact with anyone at support. Because they demonetized the channel, I lost the partnership with my network on that channel. And because of that, they can no longer on my behalf do anything in regards of the channel because they were no longer managers on the channel. I understand that this video probably is only going to get like 3000 views. Like just, I'm not in my hide anymore. I stopped doing phone content. Most of my viewers have moved on to Malignus Theater, which still does pwn content. Get that. I understand it, but I'm still hoping that maybe something happens. I can't, I can't even get a tweet back at this point. They will literally tweet at everyone, uh, it, it seems, and respond to everyone on Twitter, but I can't seem to even get in contact with anyone. Uh, and again, I have to pay. I have to pay in order to use support. And I still cannot use or get any information or any actual support. All I get is contradicting information, condescending attitudes, and that's it. That's all I get for, for a service that I have to pay to use. And then they have to, they treat you as if it's a gift that you get to use their support feature. It's the most annoying shit ever. I mean, I have really no other way to end this video other than uh, this is this is kind of annoying. I, I wish they would fix the system. I know they're not going to, and I know they probably, if they do restore Malumnus uh, 2, it's going to be exactly how it was back with another channel and it's going to be like a year later it's going to be a year later and they're going to completely kill the channel because it will be a year of the channel not even just not uploading but not existing anyways i hope you guys are having a, a better day than me uh can i get some f's in the chat like this video i guess share it out if you can i don't know what i'm expecting to have happen here but this is utterly ridiculous. I think this is something that should be addressed. Will it be addressed? Probably not. I don't think anyone will actually pay any serious attention to this. And I think I'm ultimately just screwed. And that I'll just have to get over it. Which is really frustrating to have to say uh, on this platform.